Macaulay Honors College really helped me to secure some amazing internships here in New York City. And then I ended up at WNET, which is the PBS station here in New York, and I went on to work for the TV station there for four or five years right after college. One of the first things we did was something on the National Parks. It was the Macaulay kids who found some great examples of people who had gone to parks and had home videos and had their memories of that. They helped us find them, they helped us shoot them, and together we put together a fantastic documentary. And I thought, wow, we would not have been able to do this without, without Macaulay. My freshman year, I did an internship with Channel 13 at the Metropolitan Opera. We did it through Macaulay, and there were six other Macaulay students who put together a documentary about the opera Nixon in China. I currently intern at the Center for HIV Educational Studies and Training, where I'm planning to do my honors thesis. Macaulay blasts out internship and job opportunities every Monday in the Macaulay Monday. I worked at Columbia Medical Center uh, in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology, where I studied Plasmodium falciparum, the protozoan responsible for malaria. Last year I did an internship at the Kings County District Attorney's Office, and I was an intern in the Vehicular Crimes Unit. My freshman year, I was able to use the Opportunities Fund to study abroad in London. I studied uh, contemporary British drama, and I saw 19 plays in a matter of four weeks. Last winter, I had the pleasure of studying abroad in Japan. I took a course called Business and Culture. I was able to use my Opportunities Fund to cover the costs. I think the support network at Macaulay was what most made me feel comfortable coming as an out-of-state student. One of the real strengths of the Macaulay Honors College is that it's a real vibrant community. So you have people networking, students, alumni, people in the professional world, professors, and they're all coming together and they're sharing ideas and they're helping each other. When you come to Macaulay, you're not here for a normal college experience. I realized that the first day that I got here and when I met all the people that I was gonna be spending my four years with, you are with such smart people that are living with intent. Since I've been at Macaulay, we have started uh, an Olympics committee, gastronomy club, uh, who just goes out and, and eats food. We started an acapella group. We've uh, revamped the instrumental group that was here. Oh wait, we've we started a Quidditch team. I forgot that one, that's a big one also. One of the biggest accomplishments that I've had here at Macaulay is beginning the Macaulay Marauders Quidditch team. We play on broomsticks, uh, can't fly, so we've accepted that. Macaulay's been really helpful. Uh, they didn't think I was completely crazy when I said I wanted to start a Quidditch team, so that was a nice change of pace. You challenge yourself more than what is just the academic part of college. You should really think about coming to Macaulay and having an environment where people support you and try to get you to think about not only what you want out of life, but what is best for your city and for your world. I am the founder and director of the Macaulay Triplets, which is the college's only a cappella group. I've always loved to sing and be involved in theatre, so I thought that would be a great opportunity just to get plugged into the community here. So we had the incredible opportunity of going to the international competition of Collegiate a cappella and we had a fabulous time, it was so much fun and just a great group experience and we did really well. Um, I won the Outstanding Soloist Award for our arrangement of Feeling Good by Nina Simone. Don't you know that I'm feeling